damn, Italy, everything's so good. <laughs> you want to die? Right. You sure. should yeah. die. It. <laughs> it's literally like sucking on milk. It's strange. Bauli, chio, coloto. I cannot pronounce this. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Now, if you've watched my previous vlog on trying American foods, you'll know that I am kind of missing travel a lot, okay? And since we can't travel, I need to get that fix another way. So what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of videos is trying foods from all over the world. So I have signed up for Snack Surprise. It is a snack subscription service and they deliver it directly to your door and each month you get a surprise box from somewhere in the world and you get to try that country's snacks. So the one that I've signed up for is the original size. It comes with 10 items and I've added a drink as well. And this is how it looks. And it's huge, it's really heavy. So the first country that I have got, da da da, Italy, Italia. I've actually never been to Italy. Myself and Lee were supposed to go to Italy in January, but obviously that didn't happen. So we've had to cancel our flights and hotels. So I'll be getting my fix this way instead. Let's get started on this snack box. First off, we are going to start with the Anello Gusto Pizza Amasia Crisps. I hope I'm saying that right. I am butchering the language. I am sorry to any Italians watching. I am assuming that these are just pizza flavored crisps. They look like onion rings. They actually smell like pizza. No, that is so weird. They, they smell like pizza, but more they smell like lasagna. Mm-hmm. These are really good. Mm. Okay, so they kind of taste like pizza, but more so I would say they taste like a lasagna or like a pasta or something. I don't know how they've got the flavor of lasagna into these crisps, but I ain't mad at it. That is nice. Okay, first one. Thumbs up. Moving on. Next up, we're going to try San Carlo Cristini Doradi Viez. <laughs> I cannot pronounce this. It says something in the bottom in Italian. I'm, I, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. I'm very sorry for my poor, poor excuse of Italian accent and attempt at pronouncing Italian words. Okay, so this says crunchy bite-sized pieces of Italian toast that are infused with zesty paprika flavor. Great with a glass of wine. This smells like bread. Mmm, very crunchy. <laughs> it is so crunchy, listen. Let me grab a drink real quick. Yeah, these are really nice. Very crunchy, very dry, hence <laughs> why so I needed a drink, but I'm assuming that's why they say it goes great with a glass of wine. These are really nice. Very subtle hint of flavor. It's not very powerful, the paprika in it. Italy, I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Everybody says Italy's got the best food in the whole world. Hopefully one day I'll get to go try some pizza, pasta, and gelato. But for now, Crostini Doriani, hitting the spot. Let's try the next one. Next up, we are going to try the Classici Bauli Chio Colato. <laughs> I cannot pronounce this. Chio Colato, all 60% de cacao. Okay, so it's basically a chocolate croissant. My pronunciations of this are just volatile. I'm so sorry. Ooh, nice and fluffy. Let me rip it in front of the screen so you guys can see. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Oh mm, my God, it's so good. Damn, that's good. It tastes so fresh for something that's in a packet. How do they make it feel so fresh? One more little bit, and then we'll move on to the next thing. <laughs> I keep saying I'm gonna put one more bite and put it away. Final bite, I'm putting it away. We're moving on. We have a surprise guest. Look who has finished their little study break to come and try some. Have a seat, have a hot seat. It's me, I'm back. <laughs> Lee is going to try the cross up. This is so good. You need to get the chocolate cream though. See that bit. Mm. It's really good, isn't it? It's really good. Wow. <laughs> isn't it so good for like a plastic cross on? No, no, you have the rest. I need to diet. <laughs> you want to diet? Thank you you should, should diet. diet. <laughs> Look, if, if it bothers you, you can diet. And you should diet. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one that we are going to try is the Chubba Chub Coco Bianco, which is white chocolate. It looks like it has some kind of Smarties inside. It's good. It just tastes like a white chocolate bar with some Smarties in it. The idea of it is good, though. Yeah, I like the packaging. Very and cute. it's colorful as well. Very cute. We are going to try Ringo next. 
It says here Ringo, perfectly sized brown crisp biscuits with smooth vanilla center. They are a great snack for adults and kids. These are so good. I could totally finish a whole pack of these with a cup of tea. The cream, it's not overly chocolatey flavor. It's really nice with the vanilla and chocolate mix. The chocolate's not overpowering and they're really light, like they're not a dense biscuit, they're really light biscuit. Mm. So good. Throwing out the window. Okay, let's try the next one. So I'm kind of getting thirsty and we got a drink in this packet. We have Pepsi with a twist of limon. This reminds me of when Coca-Cola used to do, I think it was Diet Coke with a twist of lemon in it. I wasn't a huge fan of it back then, but then again, I was like probably seven or eight. So let's give this a go and see if my taste buds have developed. Oh, it's not bad. It's, ooh, it's nice. I haven't had full fat soda in so long. It's so good. <laughs> it's actually for a fully sugared flavored drink. It tastes really refreshing. It reminds me of a mix of like cola and like lemon iced tea because it's got that real subtle lemon taste there, but it's very, very nice. Definitely for the win. Okay, moving on. Next thing to try. Okay, so the next thing we're going to try is very peculiar. I have not seen anything like this before. They're called Galatine and they are milk sweets. Milk's like a really hard flavor to describe, so I have no idea how I'm going to be able to describe these sweets, but we'll give it a go. They come individually wrapped. Oh, it's like powdered. Is it? Is it? It's powdered. That's very strange. I've not seen anything like that before. Looks like a pill. <laughs> it's very strange. It, it genuinely tastes like milk. This isn't really for me. It's literally like sucking on milk. I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna spit it out. It has a heavy, heavy, strong, full fat, kind of almost cream flavor. It's almost like, if anybody in America is watching, when you get half and half in your coffee and it's got that real strong dairy kind of flavor, it's that. I'm gonna say these aren't for me. However, if you love milk, maybe try these. I don't know. They're very hard to describe. They're a bit too strong for me. It's a, it's a no. The only one no so far, really. The only one that's a no so far. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's move on to some jellies. These say Maxi Shock Goal Adore. Because it says shock on it, I'm gonna assume that they're sour maybe. It's much harder than a gummy. It's gonna take me a while to chew. I'm gonna spit this out. The only reason being is that I'll be here for another half an hour chewing it. It just tastes like any other gummy. It just tastes like cherry cola. It's not particularly sour. It's mostly sweet. Lee would love these. So I'm gonna throw this one out and give him the rest of them. Let's move on to the next one. We're going to move on to something chocolatey now. This is in Mooncake. It says it's 113 calories per portion and it looks like a chocolate cake with some sort of chocolate filling pouring out of the inside. Delicious. So you've got a little white chocolate star on top. This kind of light bundt cake on the outside and then this lovely, lovely chocolate ganache in the middle. And again, it tastes quite fresh for something that's been packaged. Gotta give it to Italy. Coming through with the fresh produce that's not fresh. I'm gonna save the rest of this for later and we will move on. Moving on to Duplo, which I believe is a Kinder Bueno because it looks exactly like a Kinder Bueno, but the logo on it looks exactly like the Nutella logo. I love me a Kinder Bueno. Yes, it looks like Kinder Bueno, but bigger. The filling tastes exactly like Nutella. I'm pretty sure that is Nutella. Mm hmm There's some sort of nut inside it. It reminds me a lot of a Ferrero Rocher. That's exactly what it tastes like if it had the same coating on the outside of it. So far, this is my favorite. Kinder Buenos are my absolute favorite. And then you've just combined that with Nutella. Oh, forget it, gold. Just give it, give Duplo the gold. Okay, final chocolatey item, Gardenia Hazelnut. So milk chocolate coated wafers with hazelnut cream filling. This is so good. Again, it's kind of like wafers, Nutella, wafers, Nutella, and then coated in milk chocolate. Divine, okay. Okay, so the final thing to try it didn't actually come in a packet to say what exactly it is. However, in here, by process of elimination, I think what this is, is something called croccantelle. Square shaped for ketchup bites, flavored with ketchup or bacon. So apparently these might either taste like ketchup or bacon. Now that's not screaming, eat me. Bacon, definitely bacon. They're basically like very crunchy crackers 
that are just absolutely infused with smoky bacon flavor. So intense flavor of smoky bacon. I wouldn't be a big fan of pork scratchings or smoky bacon flavored crisps and stuff like that. So they're not necessarily my jam, but they're not inedible. I think like, maybe Lee might like these. I'll have to give him a go later and see what he thinks. So that is it for the Italy box. All in all, I would say that was a massive success. I pretty much liked everything except for the milk sweets and the smoky bacon kind of cracker things. But again, that's just my personal preference. I just think milk sweets are a weird sweet. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, stay safe, look after yourselves, goodbye and good luck. Ciao! Ciao, Bella! And now the sun